New Hope is family, it's community, and it knows no boundaries. One of the best moments for me coming across the bridge was to see all people, all visitors, all family, all friends and community with the I Am New Hope signs. That is what we are. We are about love, we are about community, we are about sharing and support. 30 years ago, I played hooky from work and decided, you know, let's just see where the road takes me. And it ended up here and I loved it. You're here at the New Hope Celebrates Pride Gay Festival. And what does it feel like to be a straight man, like among so many gay and lesbian individuals? They're just people. I don't care who they love. That's none of my business. So would you say that diversity is like New Hope's number one product? It's their best export. Will I stand behind the LGBTQ community? Absolutely not. I will stand shoulder to shoulder, and I will defend them as best I can, always. This is my family. What brings you to New Hope today? The parade. We got invited by Martini Madness to come and hang out at the Lambertville House, and it was fabulous. We're kind of new to the area, but since we've been here, we've been going to New Hope almost every other week to come and hang out, go to the restaurants, hang out with the people, have a great time. No matter where you go, everybody is so happy and friendly. And they invite you to be here, which is really nice. The openness and the acceptance of everybody around is just pretty amazing. Tell us how you feel about being at today's New Hope Celebrates Pride. I feel loved. I feel like I belong. It is so easy for all of us just to have a good time, to get along, to accept, to make each other laugh. Though a straight woman, both you and your husband have become very involved with New Hope Celebrates. How is that for you, being kind of intermingled in with the gay community? When I was growing up, I never fit in. I think a lot of the gay community obviously has had experiences with just not fitting. Discrimination on one level is horrible, but sometimes it's more like insidious and you just feel like you don't fit. And being part of New Hope Celebrates is just that feeling of fitting and belonging. And New Hope Celebrates celebrates the idea that people shouldn't be judged, that we all fit. And that's what it has done for me. I probably start coming to New Hope well over 20 years. I started back when I was a young girl in college. My first experience was the cartwheel. Me and all my college friends, we came out, had a great time. It was safe. We were accepted. We were loved. It was a place where everybody gathered and met. What kept bringing me back was feeling of being home, feeling of being accepted, friends, family. There was no excuse not to come. Do you feel embraced by the community here at New Hope? Yes, absolutely I do. Whether it's coming in for an event or just driving down the street in my Jeep and beeping and waving at everybody because you're recognized, you're known. When you come here and you're known, you're known. You're not forgotten and you're thought of and you're family. I would say to anybody, you definitely need to come experience New Hope because once you do, you're always going to come back. I think we really do embrace everyone, no matter what race, no matter what culture, no matter where you come from, your background, you're accepted. And I think that's what this is. And New Hope is home. And it is New Hope for, for people who might, especially our young generation, as an educator and as a teacher, it's the first thing I tell my kids, go visit New Hope. Sid and Ashley are new visitors to the area for a New Hope Pride today. What brought me here is my roommate. He was born and raised in New Hope and a couple weeks ago he's like, Sid, you need to come to New Hope Pride. I feel like you would really appreciate it. So I experienced the parade today and that was one help experience. I don't know if you guys saw like the protesters down the street a little bit. For some reason that sparked some like fire in my heart a little bit because it's like, you know, I'm walking back down the street after experience what they were saying and I was like, just kill them with kindness. Like that's all you gotta do. Like that's what the queer community is about. It's just loving no matter who everybody is and no matter what they are, who they love or what color they are. And then as I was walking around town and really experiencing New Hope, I was looking at my friend Andy Hanna. This is totally gay USA. This is where I'm going to retire. It's definitely a great town and I'm having a great time at Pride. Definitely I came because all my friends were going to be coming and I go to the Philly Pride a lot. Um, so when I found out there was a New Hope Pride, I obviously wanted to come. Me and my roommate just graduated from college yesterday, so we figured what Congrats. better way to celebrate graduation than to come spend Pride with all my friends. I grew up about 20 minutes from here, and I started working at Bucks County Playhouse when I was 17 years old. 
So that was 1982. It was a great place to grow up and met a lot of wonderful people. Some are, are still around, some who are not. But it's a great community. Between um, the old days of the Playhouse, Odette's when it was there, or the 10 years I worked there, and also uh, Bowman Tavern, the Raven, and the Cub Room that still has a uh, piano bar where I can go and sing, and great people like Bob Egan, and Liz Dufour, and Michael Ferrari, and Russell Eford that still play at these piano bars. It's a great thing. It's a wonderful place. Chrissy's been in the New Hope community for some time, and her brother was Dana Matthews, one of our famous drag queens. And Chrissy was just telling me a story about Mother Cavalucci's funeral. It was in St. John's in Lambertville, and we were walking down the street, and I had high heels on and black stockings, and I had like a run way down the back. And my brother, Dana Matthews, was like, oh my God, oh my God, we gotta stop at the CVS or something to get you new stockings. Mother Cavalucci would never, ever in a million years let you walk down the street with a run in your stocking so it was a really funny story we were walking down the middle of the street it was like a parade <laughs> until we got to the church I mean I can't even tell you it's probably hundreds of people I remember that clear as day my son is a queen Kellyanne Jeffries and I love it up here even when he's not here I come up just to relax you're his mom yes I'm all their moms it seems so peaceful I've never had a problem up here whatsoever what brings you to New Hope friends family pride you can be yourself here if you're gay, if you're straight, if you're bisexual or transgender. You don't have to put on a show or put on a front for somebody. I feel at home up here. There's no questions asked. You can be comfortable. And what was the best thing that you liked about the parade itself today? Just watching everybody celebrate life and seeing everybody coming out as they are and how they feel comfortable. Anthony, your drag name is Mercedes Benz Over. Yes. Correct. Okay, where do you perform at? Uh, the Raven, mostly. And how long have nope, you been nope, coming nope, to the Raven? Nope. Almost five years. I worked there for about two. I am the current reigning Miss Mardi Gras, yeah, which is yeah, fun. I left my crown at home. I'm so upset. <laughs> Jordan's drag name is Tiffany Diamond. With a Z. When did you first start coming to New Hope? About five years ago. I was coming just to watch, and then I wanted to be a part of it, so one of my drag friends that I know, Trent, brought me over here, and they painted me, and I did my first show at the Raven. And ever since then, you couldn't get me out of no hills. I've been having fun. John's drag name is Kelly and Jeffries? Yes. And how long have you been coming to New Hope? About four years. So do you feel a part of the community here? I did, and I fell in love with it. And then two years later, I started performing in drag at the Raven. Is there anything that you'd like to say about New Hope for our history website here that kind of epitomizes what you feel about being here? The younger generation, I hope you keep up tradition but also change things, make it your own. Be open to everything and anything. Never be closed-minded, because closed-minded people will never be able to fully enjoy New Hope. They will never be able to fully enjoy the world. Don't criticize people if they're not as good as you. Everybody's willing to learn, everybody wants to learn. I'm still learning, we're all still learning. Oh, yes, we are. Don't think, oh, I'm here, and that's all I need to do. No, always want to improve yourself and make everybody else better, just as you. The thing that makes New Hope so fantastic is that it has a really simple ethos. If you accept, you will be accepted. You can have not been accepted as a kid because your sexual preference, or you know, heterosexuals are dorks and geeks also. And to be in a town where everybody is accepting and everybody is warm, I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen a place half as welcoming and open as this is. You can walk half a mile down the canal and have all these good restaurants. And you can go out any night where you don't know what to do. And somewhere in town, you're going to find friends and it's going to turn into a party. It's a magical place. We have a slogan called I Am New Hope this year. And it makes me think a lot about you. Could you tell me why I might think about you as somebody who is a representative of New Hope? So I've been here for 25 years, but it's been a place that has become my home and become my life and become my soul because of the people I met and when I met you, we butted heads, but only because we both wanted to make this just even better than it is. Being here is an honor and seeing, for instance, what happened today and watching this thing grow for years was emotional. As you come across and you look at all these people and especially the children and all the kids that we had carrying our own 100 foot flag. And I had to show some of the kids how to actually carry it, but it touched your heart in a way that I don't know how to describe actually. I walk up and down through town all the time and everywhere you go, you feel accepted as long as you're not a jerk. So I worked at John and Peter's for 11 years and there could be 
couple of bikers at one end of the bar and a couple of gay guys at the other and everybody else in between and nobody cared. It has that vibe, right? It does. So this is a great town and I really, Dan, thank you for that. Thank you for that. We've been a good team for many years and I hope we continue until the eternity. Is there anything you'd like to add personally or about being president of New Hope Celebrates? It's been great, but honestly, I'm just one other person working to make this thing happen. And there's so many great people. And 6.30 when I showed up this morning and 20 other people did too, it just made my heart smile. And knowing that, hey, here we go, let's do this. Again, the biggest thing is let's make everybody smile, but let's make these kids smile. And we did. Yes, we did. Thank you so much for all that you've done for New Hope Celebrates and for the community for as long as I know you. Thank you. Matt is the incoming president of New Hope Celebrates. We're very excited to start planning for the future of the organization and our town over the next few years. So New Hope Celebrates is a nonprofit organization. We are 501c3 and we operate all year round doing several things. Pride Week is important, Pride Month is important as well. And we also wanna do things throughout the year such as the I Am New Hope project that we've launched. We wanna really expand that nationally and statewide. And then we also have our Retroscope project. It's really important. I think for the education of where this town started, where the rights movement has been here and the history of acceptance and the history of the diversity here is important for our future because you can't go anywhere without looking to the past. So uh, both of those projects will be expanding throughout the year as well as keeping our presence here. So we want to make sure throughout the year we're keeping in touch with our community with um, different events. Uh, we have the out in fall week we're going to start, which is similar to our pride week, but it's going to be in the fall to get people to come visit and experience our town even more. We're embarking on a campaign called I Am New Hope. Now, part of that's a double entendre. I Am New Hope with capital letters is the community, and I Am New Hope with a small n and what a small h is what everybody in America needs, I think, in 2017. The 2016 election left many of us feeling a little cut off, a little alone, a little isolated, and what this has become is a way for us to find community once again. And not just in New Hope, but everywhere where people need hope or have hope or need community. And I hope everybody who listens to this gets involved, goes to the I Am New Hope website, reads the stories. Thank you, Dan. And in the footsteps of people like you who've been here forever and started Pride and have just carried such a good spirit forward in this town for so long. It sounds like you two are becoming part of that. Oh, totally. We absolutely love it. It's really enriched our lives and um, we have such a great time. We do a lot more because we're here, where when we were up in Union, we really didn't go out very much. So this is great for us. We really love it. Well, we like having you here. So Thank you. Really See, that's you. why we love being here, because it's nice to hear that. It's nice to hear that you're accepted and that you're welcome. And that's the biggest part of being in New Hope. And yes, we are New Hope. I believe that I am New Hope. I think in a different way to say it, maybe we are all New Hope. And we have new hope for our future generation, especially our young kids coming forth. I was blessed to be given to it and be the first Miss New Hope celebrate by the Committee of New Hope. To me, it means family, acceptance, support, and encouragement. I've been through each and every one of those here with the New Hope family. I learned from the older queens, and I'm still growing and I'm still learning, but I believe that I am New Hope. This is home. New Hope is the place where love lives, is what I think is really important, and we want to keep the new hope in new hope for what is coming in the future. This is what we need right yeah. now. Like, yeah. this is good. This is the America we should see. Yeah. <laughs>